what's going on, people? Uh, thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being patient with me, okay? Um, while I sort some things out, as we all have to. Um, <clears throat> this energy could be masculine or feminine. We're going into a fucus. Um, gang, gang. Okay, so place the energy on whatever side you need to. We're going to check and see who's in your energy, okay? Um, let's see what's going on. All right. So, uh... You guys have someone that's identifying you as their best friend, okay? Um, this is someone that likes you as a friend. They may have um, immense care for you, but when it comes down to it, um, your friendship means more to them than an actual uh, relationship with you, okay, if you guess. So this is a person that's saying, hey, you know what? First and foremost, no matter what, you, you're my friend first. Uh, and and you always will be. This could be a conversation that you guys have been having with a person as well. Let me get this light off of here. All right. There's a glare on that card. Sorry about that. Um, so we also have, I am afraid that you will reject me if I come to you. So uh, with this person, okay, this could be someone that you're not rocking with right now. This could be someone that actually rejected you as well. And I feel like they feel that you will treat them the same way that they treated you if they come toward you now. Also, this can be someone um, that you have rejected in some way before. Now, you may have pulled back your energy. You may have stopped talking to this person for a period of time. You may have stopped dealing with them. Um, and this is someone that feels like, you know what, I don't want to mess this up again. So I really have to tiptoe around uh, a fucus in their energy because I just don't want to lose this person. Okay. Uh, now we have someone is doing black magic on me. Now this person Okay, while they were not dealing with you, was dealing with others. And with them dealing with others, in the bottom of the deck, we have, I'm, st I'm still stuck on my ex. Okay, so th this is a person, okay, that may be having a hell of a time getting away um, from one of their exes. Okay, um, they may be having a hell of a time getting away from this person. Because the person just does not want to let your person go. And when I say your person, I'm saying the per the person that um, you believed would be a good alignment for you. Okay. Um, I think and I feel uh, that some of you uh, really had your eyes set on a person. You felt like they fit in every category. Um, however, you know, there was some sort of... Um, cut off or some sort of um, time frame where you guys, you know, weren't going through your regular motions. And when I say that, I mean, you know, there could have been, you know, you guys may not talk to each other for a couple of days because both of you are working or, you know, you're moving about or you're living your life, but you, you basically stayed in tune with this person. And I feel like there was an extended amount of time to where you were not dealing with this person and now you probably are or maybe you reached out to them they reached out to you um however this person they feel like um the energy around you is just not stable because you will cut them the fuck off you know and and i, and I totally understand that if you guess like right i'm not gonna be out here doing what you feel I should do. I'm going to be doing what's best for me. And if that means that I need to chalk it up, you know, and, and cut you off and go forward, then so be it. So this person definitely knows that you have that energy. They know uh, that you have that capability. You are no nonsense type of person. And yeah, they, they, uh, they sense that energy from you. Okay. Let's continue. may have already ended the cycle with this person. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen the shorts that I put up, please go back for um, last couple of days, I think I put them up um, and look for the shorts 
uh, for, for a fucus. And you might want to check Sagittarius as well and the sign of whatever person that we're speaking about for you. Okay. Now we have spells, captivation, temporary. So whoever this person is that's doing um, spell work on this person that you're thinking of, I feel like, you know, they're coming out of this. Your person is. I feel like the, the spell work was only lasting for uh, a certain period of time and now they're waking up. And that's what Spirit has given me. This person may be going through an awakening right now um, as they're coming out of this spell work and they're seeing things through different eyes. They're, they're feeling um, different as well, right? They may not be able to put their, their finger on how they feel different, but they just know that something is awkward with them and they are in an awkwardness at this time that you know, they're working on this, okay? Right? Yep. Their faith is gone when it comes to you, right? Like I said, I'm afraid that you will reject me if I come to you. I don't have faith that a fucus is going to rock with me because, um, you know, if I do something wrong or if something happens, you know, if, if I make a wrong decision or if I mess up in some way, you know, will they see me? Will they want to still be uh, in union with me? Right. I, I'm, the faith is needing to be restored for this person. Um, I feel like it wants. Once uh, upon a time, they had a lot of faith in you, a fucus, but you had to prove them wrong. Uh, <laughs> so in other words, they're like, you know, there's nothing that I could do to make my fucus go away from me. But I feel like you guys had to flip the script and let them know, like, listen, you don't know me like that, boo, because I can be gone in a heartbeat. You know, you don't believe me. Let me show you. And I think this is where it's at. And I feel like this person, you know, they're feeling some sort of way, right? You're my best friend, nothing more. They wanted to be friends with you. This is a person that did not want to love you. This is a person that did not want to be connected to you. They wanted to have fun with you. But now the feelings are here, right? And they've always been there. And I feel like from the first time you guys met, you guys had this immense bond or you had this immense connection. And this person has just been side-eyeing you the whole damn time because they're like, what in the hell just happened? Because usually this, you know... You know, me out here seeing this one or that one or playing around with this or that. It's it's easier than it is this time, you know. Um, and I think that they see that there's some sort of divine connection here uh, between you and them. It's absolutely something that they're not really used to. They know and recognize that it's different, but they just don't really know what to do with it, right? So this is the energy that's coming through. Give me, oh, thank you, spirit, right? So karma. Justice, balance, okay? So you guys have been getting good good karma, okay? Because I feel like you're, you're, you're moving and rocking the way that you need to. However, this person may be going through um, some lessons right now as per the way that they have been moving in their life, okay? So this is also something to where right now, um, even though they care about you, even though they think about you, I feel like they're going to be dealing with whatever it is that... Um, is uh, going on in their life, and that's going to keep them pretty occupied, okay? So if you've heard from this person, and all of a sudden you don't hear from this person for a while, it could be because they're dealing with the karma from this ex that they're dealing with, okay? And I feel like um, they've done a lot of things to keep with this ex, but this ex um, has been doing that spell work to keep that person that you're thinking of. And this, and it's crazy because your person doesn't even realize that some of the feelings and some of the things that they're now coming out of because of this temporary spell work that's wearing off, they, they, don't, they didn't even know that someone was doing something to alter their state of mind and their state of view, right? They didn't even get it. They didn't even understand, you know, that something was going on that was altering um, their view of things. And now, um, as they come out of this energy, they're going to be seen, you know, and feeling, um, a lot different. So, you know, we're going to see how this goes. We're going to keep checking this energy because this is pretty interesting <laughs> and I'm nosy. So you guys know I'm here for it. Okay, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so when it comes to the spells, captivation, temporary, what do we got for a fecus spirit? Okay. All right. All right, so whoever this person is that's doing the spell work, they feel like they have to stand up for themselves, but they they have to they have to defend their rights when it comes to this person, right? The seven of wands energy is coming here. Like, in other words, yeah, I'm not gonna let nobody get what's mine because I, you know, I can control this, I can do this. They could be dealing with a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. Um, and it's almost like this person feels like they have um like territory they, this person is their territory their property um you, you know how like a dog like goes and pisses on a spot excuse my french guys but this is what it is like this person like feels like they done peed around your person and they feel like mine 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 and everyone they're gonna smell this and they're not gonna come close right and if somebody gets too close let me just use this spell work to try and deter them um and i feel that they're doing that now two of swords is also here okay now with this two of swords energy i feel like someone could be dealing with an air sign or libra right um your person is now being forced to sit and think about what they did not notice when it came to this person so in other words you know, was this person crazy as hell all the time? You know, did I not see that? You know what I mean? Did How did I miss, you know, that they had mood swings and their temper was off the chain? Like, I don't even understand how I missed all that. So, so your person is having to go through that right now, right? They're going through a period of um, trying to understand what it is that they need to do. And this person could have put the fear of death in them as well so now they're going to have to face their fears to figure out what it is that they're going to do this person may know things intricate things about their life they may be threatening that they may tell some things that are going on um and i see that your person is scared shitless okay like hey i don't know what to do i don't know how to do this right i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing um i'm torn right because part of me you know uh, I do care about my ex, you know, but, but the other part of me wants to go forward and go back or or um, find my fucus type of energy, right? We're talking about King of Wands energy, people, right? Could be a fire sign or someone with uh, cancer in their chart, okay? This is someone that likes to take charge. They like to move on desirable things. They like pleasurable things, okay? This is a person that makes a decision and they make that move and they're not afraid to go after what it is that they want passionately. And this is how they could have pursued you. Okay, this person could be getting gray hairs now or you could have gray hair um, or get, you know, could be turning white or what have you. Um, but overall, they see you as loyal. And at one point in time, you may have wanted loyalty uh, from this person as well. Okay. So this is what's coming through. Um, you guys may have had good sex with this person as well. Okay, so when it comes to the faith, the, the unity, the wholeness, with them feeling like, you know, you have the, the uh, capability of being able to cut them off at a moment's notice. We have nine of wands energy. Okay, so Sagittarius is coming through. Okay, okay. Now we're in a freak in a in a. I uh, can't even talk. Excuse me. We are in a, in a, a fucus <laughs> video, but of course you know Sagittarius is applied, right? So you know this person doesn't want to feel um, like they don't want to. How can I say this? They don't want to give up on you. But they, they are afraid to really fight as well because they feel like um, maybe you're not going to be willing to compromise. I, mean, I don't know what happened between you guys before, uh, but they don't want you to let go. And they feel like you may let them go, okay? That you're, you were very guarded or you may be guarded now. Um, and you're like that, right? Because you know that this person could still be in a situation with another person, no matter what it is that they're saying, your intuition is going to be guiding you and telling you that some shit ain't right, okay? Uh, when it comes to this karma, 
this justice, this balance. Yeah, you, you guys, I feel like you you know your intuition is telling you like, yo, some shit ain't right with them, you know. And you may um, revert back to just being the strong person that you are because you're not for the okie doke, right? Okay, so what is it, Spirit, when it comes to this karma justice balance? This person is going through some lessons right now. I feel like good karma is coming towards you, if you guess. Um, Okay. Now, for some of you, you've been slacking on, on paying attention to your high priestess energy. And this is why um, it's coming out sideways. You go back and forth with listening to yourself. Spirit is saying that you really need to tap in and you need to understand what is happening. Okay, For some of you, you may be underestimating the power of your intuition. And Spirit is telling me right now, like, that's not a thing to do. Okay? Um this card is a number two um, in tarot. That is balance, partnership, and duality, okay? So, yeah, this is regarding a partnership, right, of how you need to balance yourself before that appropriate type of um, relationship actually makes it to you. I feel like up until now, you guys not have not had the things or the people that you may have wanted or the situations may have not gone the way that you would have liked them to um, but spirit is trying to get you on the right track here okay so virgo energy right this is someone that pays attention to the intuition this is a person that is very mysterious they they hold um their secrets or their their um their findings i'll say that whatever it is that you have discovered you may keep it to yourself you're not the type of person that be out here gossiping in the streets you may know things you may hold on to them and you move forward right and i feel like it you know maybe you guys used to be that type of person but right now here and now you're the type that you'll find out something about someone and you just move accordingly and that person may or may not even understand what the hell happened Right, but you know when to get the hell out of Dodge um feeling here. Okay. Um now there's some of you, because this card is sideways, that you may listen to others too much. That could be you listening to too many tarot card readings um and stuff of that nature. Spirit is saying you need to get connected, you need to tap in, you need to be meditating so that you can get a clear understanding of the things that you need to know on your own because you have the power to do so and you're very powerful spirit is telling me okay now we also have the three of wands card that fell out sideways right this is aries energy or someone could have aries around them or someone could have an aries that is thinking about them okay now <clears throat> you guys are looking off into the sunset trying to figure out what it is that you know, is coming towards you. I feel like you are ready to invite in the good shit. You, you, you want the good shit, right? The good marriage, the good home, the good life, the good uh, family. All the goodness is what you're, you're ready for. I feel like you're finally there. You want to be in a situation where, um, yeah, everything is working. This is what I'm feeling, okay? But I feel like you're you're not quite where you need to be yet. Again, you need to be paying attention to your intuition. And I feel like once you tap back in, start doing your meditations and get more connected to spirit, then you'll be able to see what's coming um, forward towards you. And you'll be able to move forward positively okay because up to now i feel like you guys may have been having a bunch of damn obstacles in your way and you're like how many more am i gonna get okay right these obstacles could be hindering your freedom your travel your adventure right and i feel like you guys just want to be over it already you just want to have growth you want to have expansion you want to do the things that you want to do and how you want them to come to pass and that has not been happening okay now spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck we're going to end this right we have page of swords right now with this, you may have been going through delays. 
You have people that are talking uh, around you or about you. You have people that are sending you negative energy, may, may be trying to stop your flow of positivity, right? Just make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing for yourself and doing the protection rituals and stuff of that nature, okay? You want to watch what you're saying now. Don't have anyone bait you in, in, into any type of arguments because it's easy to argue right now, right? My son got me last night, had me going right? But this is what I mean, you know, and I got to reel myself back just like I'm talking to you guys, you know, like you really got to get to a place where you're protecting your energy um, so well that people cannot even throw you off kilter, okay? They're trying it and, and they're going to continue to try it and you guys, you don't want to do the pettiness, you don't want to do um, you know, the arguing, the nonsense back and forth with people because they're just trying to keep you low enough to where you can't bring those beautiful ideas and manifestations into pass. And you do not want to miss out on blessings for anyone or anything. Okay. Now, for some of you, you're going to be getting messages from people and they're going to be testing you and they're going to be trying to get a rise out of you. Just be mindful, right? What I like to tell myself is I give myself, when I see a text message or something of that nature that pisses me off, what I usually do is I put the phone down and I come back to it later after I have thought about what I want to say and I've calmed down. You know what I mean? Um, you may have people that are trying to engage with you, okay, that just want to get a rise out of you and you just do not want to feed in on it. And I, I promise you. Um, that spirit's got you, okay? So I send you all love and light, okay? If anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below. Um, and you guys take care.